Hello everyone, this is Sherman here from TechOS and this week I'm going to be showing you an app called Take Action. Now, Take Action is available for free on the App Store and it's a universal application so it, it will work on your iPhone, your iPad or your iPod Touch. You can find a link to download it in the description of this video. Now, Take Action is an app designed to help you achieve your goals by helping you complete tasks that lead up to them. So it works in almost the same way as the standard iOS Reminders app, so if you use that then you'll get the basic idea, but it has many extra features within it to help you be motivated to reach your goals, and I'll go through all of this in the video. Now this means there are two major parts to the app, tasks and goals. So tasks are items that you use to in Reminders, which you tick off or postpone for later, and goals are the effectively targets which you want to reach by completing the tasks. So if I open the app, it takes you to the main tasks screen. But if this is the first time that you're launching the app, which probably it will be for you, uh, you'll be shown the tutorial screen which basically just guides you through how you can navigate the basic functions of the app. Now firstly I'm going to show you how to create a new goal. Now if you want to create a new goal, you tap and hold on the green plus icon which you can see and you'll be taken to the goal setup screen so here you can give your goal a name and then below, obviously I'm not going to do this now keep the video moving at an adequate pace but you can add a new goal, name it by tapping on the black ribbon at the top then you can fill out these subsections which just ask you a few things why do you want to complete the goal how you're going to do it what would happen if you didn't uh, complete it so just ways of motivating you to complete it and work f your way through uh, you can also create sub goals so if you have different sort of categories that you need to complete before you finish this major goal then you can add those and you can add actions so uh, items which have to be done regularly in order to complete this I'm going to hit the red X in the top left corner just to cancel that for now but obviously you go in and you create your goals get that set up so next you'll be able to start creating tasks and planning your week now you can do this instead of holding on the on the green plus icon if you just tap on it you can create a new task now as you saw on the previous screen i have sort of started creating a few tasks uh, for the video purposes however i'm going to show you how you create a new one so say for example i want to motivate myself to go for a jog so i can go here and i can type in jog or i can just go in here go for a jog. Oh, if I can type, go for a jog. Maybe I want to do this every Saturday and Sunday. So what I do is I, uh, I've got the days uh, listed below that, and I can just tap on Saturday and Sunday, and that is when this will appear on my tasks view, which I'll show you in just a minute. Below that, there's the time. So I can specify a specific time that I want to complete this task at. So let's say I want to go for a jog on Saturday and Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. I can tap the tick and then there you go, I've got that set up. I can choose to repeat, so I can maybe I want to do this every Saturday and Sunday. Then I can have that instead of having to manually go in every week and set it up. And below that you have advanced options, so I can repeat it weekly, obviously I've got the previous options, but if I go down I have more options which I didn't have previously. I can choose notifications, so I can be notified via a push notification uh, at the time of the action, so when it's as soon as it should be started, 10 minutes before, 30 minutes before, and I have all these various presets. At the bottom I can tap custom, so maybe I want to be reminded to just, uh, I don't know, 3 minutes before. I can just uh, select what I want and tap three minutes before and there you go I've got my uh, custom notification time set up I can choose the duration so maybe I, I want to go for just 30 minutes I can do that obviously I have the same custom options so I can choose a custom time if I want to have that below that I have priority so I can choose whether it's a low priority task medium or high priority task so you just have that option and below that I have difficulty so based on what I think is uh, the difficulty of the task I can choose let me just choose normal for now and I can have subtasks. So just like goals, I can choose various items which I have to put before that to achieve this task. So it works in the same way. I'll just go back and tap on the tick. Now, as you can see below, uh, under the Sunday, it says go for a jog. So that's now been added and it has the time there, 8 o'clock. 
and it has a little alarm next to it which basically signifies that I've set up notifications for that task. So if I scroll down, uh, you can see I've set up some tasks previously before this video. And if I want to complete a task, say I've already gone for my jog, then what I can do is I can just slide from left on the task, take my finger, slide from left to right slightly, and I get a tick. If I let go, it will mark that task as completed. If I continue to move my finger, however, it will actually tell me a, a red cross, so that will delete the task. If I continue even further, I can skip it. So maybe this week I don't want to do it. I can skip the task and it will continue to remind me future weeks, but just not this week. If I pull from... Uh, where, oh, yeah, that's another thing. If I tap and hold, it goes to edit. But if I slide from left to right, from right to left, sorry, I can choose the various moods that I'm in. So if, perhaps if I don't feel like doing it, I can tap that and it will just provide that icon there. And so I can uh, look back on it and see why I didn't complete that task. So that's just, again, sort of the whole motivation uh, idea here. So just telling you why you didn't complete it so you can work on that in the future. However, I'm just going to complete the task for now. As you can see it crosses it up and it says at the top keep it up. Now you may have noticed as I completed that task this white ball in the top half of the screen actually moved. What this ball does is move to the top of the mountain which is highlighted on the screen now as you complete your task. So if I just go ahead and complete all the tasks just for the sake of moving that ball to the top of the mountain it does disappear as you scroll down but obviously if you go back up then you'll see it. Uh, let me just continue going back up mark all these things off obviously I've set walk the dog every day here so that's an, that's an example of when you might want to use the repeating feature you see it says week two completed so it's recognized that I've completed all the tasks for this week as you can see the ball has moved to the top of the mountain and once I've done this completed my week I can actually go to the bottom slide all the way up from the bottom uh, till it says finish the week and then it will have finished it so now it's just going to give me a sort of score. I've done 100% of my tasks. And it's going to give me uh, a little glass uh, thing, which I can just tap to break. Tap a few times. Breaks it, and I've been get awarded a medal. So again, motivating you to continue working hard to achieve your goals. Tap awesome. And then it will, should, yeah, there you go. It moves me on to week three. I tap let's do this. And I can, uh, again, set up my tasks the ones that I set to be repeating, so every week or every day, they will automatically be inputted and then I can go in and put in all my other ones manually. Now finally, I just want to show you the month and the quarter view. So at the moment I'm in week view. If I slide my finger from the top to the bottom, you see it says month view at the top. If I release my finger, I get to the month view. So week one, which has been completed already, has got 100%. Week two, obviously I just did that in front of you and I've got my gold medal there so it just shows me all the weeks from the month and if I can continue swiping again I can unlock the quarter view now I haven't unlocked it at the moment because what you have to do to unlock it is complete four weeks so a whole month once you've done that you unlock the quarter view or if you're really eager to get the quarter view unlocked you can share the app with other people so talk about it on Twitter uh, tap on the button or post on Facebook so you have those options to unlock quarter view if you want to. But anyway, that's it for this app review. It's a very simple app. It's it's really good, I think. Um, it's a great app for people who want to get better organised and motivate themselves to reach personal goals. As I said before, the link will be in the description of the video so you can download it from the App Store directly from that link. And you can also use the contact details in the description of the video to get any help or support or you can send me a recommendation for an app you'd like me to review. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.